Welcome to the Cooptor Awards. We are here at Most Part Bar and Grill. My name is Kimberly Chan, your Miss Plus Size Trinidad and Tobago KBTV presenter and currently Miss Kavisha Shivonis. Let's get right into the interviews with our presenters, our judges and our sponsors for the night. Here I am with Sarah Jean. And she's not one of our presenters, however, she's one of the most important persons tonight. She's on our panel of executive judges. And how are you tonight, Sarah? I'm fine, thank you. It's lovely to be here tonight. And how do you feel knowing who are the winner of winner of winner or winners of tonight's Kupta Awards and having to keep that in you? It's thrilling to know that um, these presenters are here and they're nervous and excited and I can see how excited they all are. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing their reactions when they find out the results. You know, these are all great presenters. You all had to narrow it down to just 10. And now it's so difficult, I'm sure. How was that process? How did you feel having to eliminate some of the best presenters of KBTV? Um, how was the process? Was it long? It was a very critical process. We had to look at little things because our top 10 finalists were fantastic. They were excellent. They really gave up themselves, they engaged the audience, they, they, and they also made their subjects feel really comfortable most of the time. So it was really challenging, and it's some really, really fine, fine details that separated them. So how do you feel? Are you satisfied with Chosen? Uh, what would be your word of advice to the person who wins? What do you want them to do? What is your advice? Um, how should they use this to move forward? Is it only for the bragging rights? Oh no, definitely not. I think there's definitely a career to be had in presenting in media. And um, I think the person who wins can seriously take this as a compliment because of the stiff competition and use it to further his or her career in media. Roger Suknoin, how do you do, sir? I am always fine, a good wine. Are, are you enjoying the show tonight? Oh, it's interesting. Yes. Very, I can't wait for the results. I can't wait for the results. Mr. Suknoin is donating a couple of lovely granite vases, um, as you can see at the front here, um, last a lifetime. Um, thank you very much for that, sir. Um, do you want to talk about your granite business at all? I want to talk about my granite business because that is of no interest to me. What is more interesting to me is to talk to people, young people in particular, about the craft of stone. It is something that women know best about. And I would love if more young men and women could understand that understanding stone and working stone is really a delicate and beautiful craft. Thank you very much, Roger Suknawine. And what I really uh, appreciated in his video, he didn't actually promote his company at all in his video. He just talked about the craft of stone. Excellent. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> Mr. Allen, how are you doing, sir? <laughs> no, we, 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 you donated excellent prizes to the um, competition. Two tickets to Tobago, which is very, very impressive, sir. Do you want to talk a little bit about your company? Um, well, I have a small family-owned company, Allen for the studio. We've been around for the last 40 years. Um, most people from Karani and Chukwana's Lost, we're based in Kerap. Uh, three buildings east of Subway. Um, basically, we consider ourselves the future of photography. So anything you need photography-wise, and even other than that, really, the small electronic um, items like DVD players, phones, that kind of thing, we're the place to check. Okay. And I always get asked to do weddings, and I turn them down. So I'll be forwarding them onto you. Great stuff. Hello, sir. Yes, I, I, I was told that you didn't want to say anything on camera, but it's great to see you up on stage. Donated a host of hampers, so everyone tonight gets prizes. Um, did you want to introduce yourself and your company? Um, my name is Dave Bordal. Um, company is DSP Marketing. We do contract manufacturing for a lot of different chemicals. 
great show. It's short, short and sweet, sweet to the point. To the point. Thank, Thank you. you. Mr. JJ. JJ. This gentleman owns, if you go into Toko, there's a massive, massive guest house on your left hand side as you're going up, J&J Big Yard. And this, this gentleman has sponsored KBTV uh, before in many ways. So thank you very much for your support, Mr. JJ. Hi, I want to say special good night to all the audience here tonight. It's a pleasure that KBTV invited me here to be here this afternoon. It's so nice to be here. I have some friends with me. Mr. Two guys there. Mr. Nanku, his son. Thank you for being here tonight. Let me tell you something about KBTV. They are the best. They promote the small man in business. They come to my place in Choco and they promote it out there on the internet. They do a perfect job. So I thank them for that. Let me tell you something. My name is David Jessup. I'm the manager, the owner of g, &G Big Yard. There's probably people in this audience here who know the Big Yard. And when you come to Choco, you must pass by the Big Yard. The Big Yard have a facilities for you. You can go in the bar, have a cold drink. You have a nice restaurant by the side. You have a nice guest house with a large pool. You have a place they call the Hallows. You can get down there. We do a lot of excursion, weddings and stuff in the Big Yard. And they have a lot of people who probably might know about the Big Yard. But if you check KBTV and the internet, you're going to see something out there. So to the audience tonight, if no one have been to Toko, you come to Toko and you're going to see the Big Yard. And it's something interesting for us. I hear they have any fairies coming. And when that arrives, it's going to be better events for everyone. So I thank you very much to be here tonight. And I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you. And just to say as a footnote, if you book J&J Big Yard up to the 30th of um, August, uh, sorry, um, October, and you mention KVTV, you get a 20% discount on your order. All right? So big round of applause for all the sponsors. Thank you very much for your time and your help. Appreciate it. Hello to you, Rizia. How are you tonight? Oh, let me tell the viewers, she's not a part of the top 10 presenters because she's only done her first show with us. But she's here to support those. She's here to get the experience and she's here getting ready for the next Costa Awards. How are you tonight? I'm fine, thank you. You look beautiful. Um, How do you feel? Um, knowing that you just got yourself into something like this and this is where you can be you can be a part of the cookers there's award it's a volunteer thing but you know you can take you so far it can be kvtv will honor you how do you feel getting yourself into this being a part of it we are pretty good my um video was on my last year me and because of certain work responsibilities i haven't gotten to do any more videos just yet but i have ideas coming up so well, I see that you're here, so which means you're very much active in KBTV. And um, what would you like to say to them? Um, what do you want to say to them? How? Because they are very nervous. The judges already know who's the winner. Everybody's here hoping that they're either one, two, or three. Say something to them. Give them some motivation, some inspiration. What would you say to the winner of the award? Well, I guess the winner would possibly be someone who is pretty great and I find all of them are really good because I see their videos so I'm not I'm kind of biased as to who will win but I say congratulations and keep up and maybe I'll be running it next year and what would you say to the person who did not make it to the top three um, what would be your words of inspiration or motivation or advice to them well from the level that you are you can only go up that's all I can say. Once you're at a certain level and you know exactly where you need to be, you can only move up from there. So viewers, you look at her, you observe her, you see this beauty, look out for her. She's going to be at the Cofters and she's going to be here to take the Cofters next year. So get ready for this year.